know better, do better. And it starts in the subtleties. So we have this emperor out here. And the first thing that they're being screaming about is it's in reverse. And they just keep talking about there being a split. So this energy is either somebody who has issues with their father or they are having or had problems with fatherhood. And I'm talking about their relationship with their children or maybe the idea of being a father. It's something like that. And yes, they can play off each other as far as it being you had issues with your father, so therefore you have issues with being a father. However you want to say that. However, they're saying that you're climbing out of this. And they're saying climbing out of this as as you've you've realized some things subconsciously, some some um some some trauma, some problems and whatever, and you are moving differently. They're commending you for your progress in this. They're they're literally having you out here, the higher fonts out, and it's that for me right now they're screaming, no better, do better, no better, do better. And you are acting on it. You are starting to really there's like four car honks in a row. So I'm taking that as a confirmation, but you're beginning to really do it. You're beginning to really heal that part of you that hasn't been healed until now. And they're literally talking about because you're no bettering and do bettering. And however the fuck they said that, like as the higher font, you are, re they're calling it regaining your seat. You're regaining your seat as the, the, uh, the king of cups. And they're saying that this, this rethroning because you have reincorporated this piece and part of yourself and you're no better and you do bettering, it's moving into a physical, a physical, um, a, 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 a new, new beginning, a, a physical abundance for you. But also because what happens in the subtle energies also happens in the physical, just it happens beforehand. It's calling in your queen of cups, which is super interesting to me. Um, there's just a lot going on with that. It's the end to sorrowful times. You are literally soliding up your foundations with this inner deep dive. I'm talking about a soul level deep dive. You have put in some work. You have been in hermit and you are exploding out of it. So right right now they're talking about this realigning you not only with, with fate, but, 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 but there's more than that. It's something about your mastery, your craft. There's something that you do that nobody else can motherfucking do because they can't do it like you. There's something that you bring to the table, bring to the world, and you are refinding that because you have healed this. And they start talking about that, even though it's subconscious and it's in the subtle energies right now, it has a ripple effect. And this ripple effect will be felt in the physical. That is your Ace of Pentacles. That is your new beginning. That is your physical foundational beginning. And they have the Four of Wands out here, but they also have on the eight of pentacles and they're talking about your mastery your craft this is you they're calling it the end to hard times they're calling it the end to hard times this is your this is this is your motherfucking new beginning this is your glow up they have you out as being the, the hermit and you're you're moving with this knight of swords energy it's this realization it's this it's this fast forward fucking movement but right now it is mental in nature however it is trickling into the rest of your vibrant energetic field you are learning that this is something that is driving you to find your people and they start talking about your people as being recollecting those who are like you and they're calling it recollecting so some of you might be coming back to to a place that you may have put aside for a little bit which is so interesting but they're talking about it being your community, your um, soul family, your tribe, but but physically, like in a collaborative space. It's it's very odd. It's not, but it is because it's this new brazen forward oof. But they're talking about it's bringing in what you're searching for. You just don't realize it is no longer left out in the cold. End to sorrowful times. It's literally bringing in this this ten of ten of coins energy, but this fulfillment, this this beautiful abundance. But like what it's what it's literally giving me is also like this emotion, this deep seated belonging, this deep seated rooted belonging. And they're screaming at me right now. Follow your instinct. And they're not talking about follow your gut. And they're not talking about listen to your heart. They're not talking about listen to your head. They're not. This isn't that. They're saying your instincts. 
what what your self does before you have to tell yourself to do something they're telling you to 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 rely on that and to use that when you get a pull to do something they're telling you to do it when you get a feeling and they're telling you to just boom don't think about it boom because change happens in a blink of a motherfucking second and they're saying that they need you to act on your instinct Acting on your instinct is what will bring your subtle energy into the physical for you. And they're saying that you've made these changes in the subtle energies. You've made these changes, um, 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 help me, help me, help me in the astral. You've made these changes subconsciously. And they're saying that this is the ripple effect. You drop a, pe this is, this is weird. So there's a pebble and you drop it into water. That is, that is you crushing through the surface of what you haven't dealt with. You are literally knowing better, doing better, and putting it into action. And this is having that outward ripple effect that affects everything. And they're telling you to keep motherfucking going. You need to trust your instincts, but you also need to act on your instincts in this moment. Don't think about it. Thinking about it is what got you here. Keep going. They're saying you're going to have a gut reaction. It's going to be a pull. It's going to be a fierce thing that you can't seem to get out of your mind. You can't seem to put aside. You cannot put it down. You need to do what your instincts have been screaming at you to do. It doesn't matter how it makes you look. It doesn't matter how stupid you feel. It doesn't matter. You need to follow your instincts. And they're saying, fuck all that other bullshit, but follow your instincts because that is your animalistic drive that has brought you thus far. They're saying your animal has been caged thus far and you need to let it off the leash for a little bit. It will bring you to the place and to the, I hear the prize that you're seeking. I'm not sure if this prize is your queen of cups. I'm not really sure what the hell that is, but whatever you've been, I'm getting tapped on the head. I just got tapped on the head. Whatever, whatever you're being pulled to that you are fighting, they're telling you not to follow your instincts. 717 on the thingamabob. All right. Holy shit. I need ground. Okay. Bye, B. <laughs>